Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Those returning, those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish gang, y'all, I thank y'all. I am so, so humbled and thankful and grateful for y'all. I see the numbers going up. I appreciate every like, every view, every comment. If you have not subscribed, we have a good time over here. Go ahead, hit the button, y'all. It's free. So this reading today is just channel messages from your person. We're going to check their mood towards your relationship, whatever you have going on in your dating life. I tap into a lot of energy, so we're just going to see what their mood is towards you. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the reading. Peace, love, and light. Okay, guys, I'll give you a few moments to make your selections. Pile one has you are my sunshine with the love note. I love trying new things with you. And the feeling exposed message you got through my armor. Pile two has life is beautiful. With the love note, I love being with you. And the feeling exposed message, I picture you are mine. And pile three has grateful. With the love note, you make my heart smile. And the feelings exposed message, light, your life looks great while mine is falling apart. So if you are drawn to more. Then one pile, go ahead and make that selection and I will see you at your pile. Hey, hey, pile one, welcome to your reading. If you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning, those who have subscribed and joined the love and all that goodish gang, y'all, I appreciate you. Thank you for loving on your girl. I appreciate every like, every comment, every view. So if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button, y'all. It is free. We have a good time over here. So today's reading is going to be just a check in with your person to see what their mood is towards you and the connection right now, pile one. And you guys chose you are my sunshine. So off the bat, pile one, this person thinks very highly of you they get very good vibes when they think of you so before i get into your love messages i'm going to read the channel song that i channeled for you and you guys got saving all my love by kim and kim used to go by chemistry and before i even get into the song pile one this could be a person that you feel you have a soulmate bond with this could be a person that you feel you could be like a star-crossed lover with, meaning that you feel like you're supposed to be with this person, but things just keep coming in the way, and it seems like you guys can never uh, stay together or get together is what I heard. You or this person could have came from a background that was very rough, and then you made, made it out, or you were able to not let those rough beginnings stop you from being successful you also could be a person from the midwest specifically i believe detroit or they could be from the midwest and the reason why i say all of that is because this artist i believe they're from detroit but this artist was a person who was homeless for a very i don't know for a very long time but this was the person who was homeless for a while and then he changed his life around something happened he got to get big break in now he's a successful musician okay so that's where i got that from just off the artist also this person could like jazz or really like lyricists and what i mean by lyricists whether they are songwriters or like rappers they like music that has a meaning where the words actually mean something so let's get into your song your song again was saving all my love for you by kim and the lines that stuck out to me were ever since time was young ever since there were trees and sun long before earth was new i've been saving my love for you pile one so this person feels a deep soul connection with you this person this is almost giving me twin flame vibes if you resonate with the twin flame because not everybody resonates you know with like labels and you don't have to but 
you know twin flames reincarnate every lifetime with each other and that's the vibe that it's given me it they're saying basically they're so new they loved you and they're so new they wanted to be with you way before they ever knew when they got to this earth way before you know the earth was even created so this person has a deep knowing that they want something with you pile one so let's go ahead and get into the reading Just go ahead and get into the love notes pile one that they have for you and your person says I love trying new things with you and everyone has their own love story but I will always think ours is the best so this person is in the mood of you know trying new things with you wanting to be spontaneous they feel that no matter who they date, who you date, if you guys are not together, they will always have fond memories of this relationship and feel that your love story is the best love story. The overall energy for the love note for all three piles is thank you for being there for me. So they are very grateful to have you in their life. Now, this is my feelings exposed deck I created. And there are two love messages for this is you got through my armor, and can't get you out of my head so this person was used to having a wall up especially when it comes to love pile one and you were able to chip through that armor and you are able to get into this person's heart and you are consuming their thoughts at this time their mood towards you at this time is that they can't stop thinking about you pile one now the overall energy for the feelings exposed deck is there is no one as real as you so they appreciate your honesty they appreciate your loyalty if that plays a part in this union pile one they appreciate just how you have treated them and they also appreciate how you treat yourself there is no one as real as you so they appreciate that okay now let's go ahead and get into this is my mood swings oracle okay guys now i created this deck as well and the energy that your person is in towards the connection because this is their energy towards you okay now we're going to get into their energy towards the connection and we have going our separate ways and comical okay i got a i got a few things with that if there has been some, you know, disagreements, you guys aren't seeing eye to eye right now and one of you guys are thinking or you're thinking of walking away or separating, your person is saying that is comical. <laughs> and they almost chuckling to themselves because they like you are going nowhere, okay? If you are separated with this person they do not like the separation okay because it says we're going our separate ways and they do not want that to happen and do you see that we have three elephants and do you see how one elephant is going this way and one's going that way and then this one is in the middle what i'm getting from that is you guys both may be trying to what's the word i'm looking for you guys both may be trying to not really deal with whatever the issue is in this situation. It doesn't have to be anything major, okay? But whatever it is that is hindering this connection, because I heard hindering, all right? You guys both are trying to avoid it. And this right here gives me spirit gives me like angels may have to come in and try to get you guys to turn back around to face each other is what I heard. So you guys may not be seeing eye to eye like I said. Now, elephants stand for wisdom, prosperity. They have great, great memory. So you guys could be like going over things of the past. They said, I can't get you out of my head. So they could be just going through things um, or you could be just overthinking things in this connection at this time. But Elephants also represent longevity. And I do feel like this person wants something long term with you. Now with the monkey, you know, monkeys are tricksters. They like to play. This person could be full of energy. However, there is no malicious intent when it comes to monkey. So this person does not have any malicious intent towards you at this, this time. 
pile one. They're actually in the mood of wanting to be affectionate with you, wanting to play with you. Again, going back to I love trying new things. They just really want to go with the flow, which brings me right to the sloth. Now the sloth, and this is my Moose Wings Oracle draw. And remember I just said that you are looking this way, they looking that way, and then there's one in the middle, and this is spirit. So you guys both could just be dealing with things in your life right now and may not be really focused on this connection. With the sloth, sloths are all about, you know, relaxation. Uh, but they can be lazy sometimes, but just like really going with the flow and also with the sloth it's about conversation they represent conversation so I don't know if you're talking to this person if you are talking to this person you guys vibe just might just be real chill real relaxed right now because that's the vibe that I'm getting real chill and just real relaxed so I don't really feel as far as the mood is concerned with your person I don't really feel that there's anything major I don't feel like there are any big issues I'm getting that either you both are just focused on your own lives right now and, and again I said something about like star-crossed lovers with that song maybe you guys haven't come into union yet especially if it's a spiritual connection or maybe there are other things just taking precedent in both of you guys lives but regardless of where you fall with that this person feels that you bring just beauty into their life is what i heard and i heard they want to stop thinking about you but they can't okay <laughs> so now we're going to use my under the influence deck okay and we're just going to see what energies could be influencing the connection right now because that's their mood then we're going to get some tarot on the energies and then we're going to jump on up into the love box y'all and let's get some messages so if y'all watch my other reading y'all know i channeled a whole bunch of messages and we're just going to see what your person wants to say okay Clear the energy of this deck. And I'm going to try not to make this that long because that one was long. And y'all, if y'all see me glistening, it is because I don't know what's going on with this weather. One minute I'm hot, one minute I'm cold, y'all. And if I open up my windows, I live off of a busy street, y'all. Y'all are going to hear so much. And right when I was about to hit record, a whole motorcycle crew, y'all. I'm talking about, it was about a hundred of these Nanettas. I call, <laughs> I call the N-word nanettas because you can kind of tweak that word and it can kind of resonate with the other and the reason why I say nanettas and not the other word is because I don't know who's watching me and, and for me and this is just my personal opinion but if you're not flexing in the right complexion you shouldn't be using that word nanetta okay you know what I'm talking about so we're gonna say nanettas over here so yeah it was a big old motorcycle gang y'all it's like a hundred of them jokers Papa wheelies, all kind of stuff. So this is why I won't open my window. So if y'all see me glistening, I apologize. I'm trying not to sweat. Okay, let's go. All right, spirit. Oh, let me shuffle one more time. You know, I was talking and stuff. Spirit, can you tell me what energies could be influencing the connection between pile one and their person? All right, we'll just get like three. Uh, look, y'all saw them three come out. Look at it there. Okay, we have breakfast in bed. Okay, okay, by one person. We have photographs, and we have you mean the world to me. Look at that there, okay? So, right now, if you guys are together, this person wants you guys to just be more intimate with each other. That's the mood they're in, being intimate, trying new things, having lazy days. Going back to the sloth may want to bring you breakfast in bed or may want you to do that for them. Okay. I keep being drawn to this frog, but I don't know what frogs mean. I don't know if they mean fertility or not. You might want to look up the frog. I don't know why I was being drawn to the frog if you like frogs or if you were drawn to the frog on this card too because I don't know what that means is escaping me at this time but again if you are with this person they want to have some romance they want to bring romance into your union if you guys are lacking that they want to have breakfast in bed 
They just want more intimacy if you guys are together. If you guys are not together, the mood that they are in is they wish you were in their bed. They wish that they could serve you breakfast in bed. They wish that they could just pamper you a little bit because they feel you deserve it. Some of you guys have been working hard, I heard, and they feel like you need to take a break. Now, with photographs, if you guys are together, they want you guys to keep making memories. Going back to, I love trying new things with you. They want you guys to keep being spontaneous. If you send them photos, they love that. Some of them would like some racy photos. I heard, come on through, okay. <laughs> but if you guys are not together, this person could be staring at your photographs. This person could be reminiscing over the time that you guys have shared together, if you guys have pictures together. And I'm getting that if you ever sent them this person any type of pictures, they miss that. They miss the pictures that you send them is what I was getting. With the world, you mean the world to me. Regardless if you are with this person or not with this person, you mean the world to this person. This person thinks very highly of you, like I said, with you are my sunshine. You could also be at a distance from this person with the world. You guys could live on opposite ends of the world as well. But this person just really thinks very highly of you. Also, you guys could be going through a cycle because of the world. So going back to that like star-crossed lovers or feeling like you guys just can't get on the same page. It could just could be a cycle that you guys are completing right now. All right. So what was at the bottom of the deck? RSV, RSVP. And if that is the case, it could be due to divine timing. Maybe, um, again, I said, I think that that spirit, that third elephant. All right. So, and you also with that monkey, you also may not be taking this person serious right now, pile one, because I was just drawn back to that. This person has very deep feelings about you. This person may be nonchalant. You know, they may just act like <laughs> they don't really hold those deep emotions. You see this love looking like that. Maybe you just, you know, you just feel they goofy all the time. But they serious about you, pile one. They are truly serious about you. So I just got that with the monkey as well. <laughs> I guess somebody might be trying to have serious conversations with somebody and somebody is always joking. And I just got that too, that if you are trying to have serious conversation with somebody and they're doing that, it may make them a little bit uncomfortable. So they deflect with the laughter. So don't take it too serious because with that monkey car, they're not trying to take things too serious. And that was my comical. Yeah, my comical card. So again, if you guys are going your separate ways, because that was the elephant card and you're not together right now, but your person doesn't like that because they feel that you were the only person who could really get through to them. The only person who really could make them feel some emotions is what I heard, which they thought could never happen again is what I heard. And now they don't want to lose you is what I heard. And it just brought me back to there's no one as real as you. Look at that there. Come on through. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, spirit, can I get three cards to just represent the energies of breakfast in bed, photographs, and you mean the world to me that can further clarify pile one's person's mood towards them at this time. And we have the king of pentacles. Right with breakfast in bed, you better say it, pile one person. Yes, indeed, with that king of pentacles, the queen of cups. Look at that there with the photographs. And what else do we have? We got a king and queen. I always drop cards. Hold on, y'all. Yes. Hi. Okay, we got the ten of cups and the page of pentacles with the world. Look at that. Look at that, dear. Okay, so listen. Listen. Look at the bottom of the deck. The hierophant. Okay. So, pile one. With the breakfast in bed, yes, this person is in the mood to spoil you. The king of pentacles spoils. They're generous. They're loving. They're reliable. They like to take care of... There they go. Look. They like to take care of those that are close to them. Those that they value. 
this person feels with the king of pentacles and the breakfast in bed that you are a person who deserves great things who deserves luxury who deserves the comforts in life who deserves to be taken care of who deserves to be pampered like i said and that's what they want to do for you right now regardless if you with this person or not that's what they want and i'm getting for the ones that you guys are together if this if your relationship has been lacking intimacy not sex sex and intimacy are two different things if the, if y'all have been lacking intimacy your person desperately craves intimacy they want to be caressed by you they want to snuggle with you they want you guys to do things for each other acts of service breakfast in bed is an act of service that's a love language that's a specific message for those who are together okay because i'm, I'm getting some of you guys maybe lacking a little romance all right now and I, that brought me right back to trying new things with the queen of cups and photographs i'm getting that one, they love any pictures that you have sent them with the Queen of Cups. Um, you make them very emotional when they look at your pictures too. Pile one. Um, and they're trying to keep them emotions at bay. Do you see how her foot is, you know, like just like touching those emotions? Now, the Queen of Cups is empathic. Okay, so maybe they can feel you. They might feel your energy. Oh my gosh, I just saw that when somebody looks at your pictures, they rub your pictures. And when they rub your, somebody's an empath, pile one, because when they rub your pictures, they can feel your energy. They communicate to you through your pictures um, is what I just heard. Okay, um, They just love them. That's just what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups. Because, you know, I can give you definitions of the Queen of Cups, but that's just not what I'm getting. What I'm getting with the Queen of Cups and your photographs is that they just love your photographs. They love your photographs. That's what I'm getting. I'm not getting nothing else, but they love your photographs. Okay. <laughs> with the world. And we have the Ten of Cups and the page of pentacles and I, and this card is you mean the world to me absolutely with the ten of cups you give them you know just total emotional satisfaction if you guys have a family together they love your family together and they again want you guys to keep making memories with the that camera if you guys are not together this is what they're hoping for especially if you guys are in that energy of going your separate ways they want you guys to be a happy family if you don't have children they want to have children with you but they just feel that life would be amazing i heard with you going right under that uh, i will always think our love story is beautiful with the page of pentacles this could be new information to you this love or this type of love could be new for the both of you, okay? You guys both could still be learning each other, all right? Things could be taking some time. Things could be moving slow and you feel that there is no momentum. That's all with the page, okay? Also, you could have a child with this person because that goes over the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups. But basically what I am getting is that this person wants to continue to take time with this relationship. They have deep emotions with the cups, but because we have pentacles, they don't want to rush anything. And they also see you as someone long term. This is not a flighty energy pile one. This person wants to lay down roots with you. This person could be a person of leadership or you could be, you guys could have a spiritual connection. You guys both could like tradition, but this person wants something traditional with you with that hierophant. This person also looks up to you as well with that hierophant. Okay, so let's go ahead now that we know their mood, which is they love you, pile one. They want some intimacy, pile one. They can't get enough of your photographs and they want to have a family with you and they want to have something long term with you whether you are together with this person or not that is their mood so now let's go ahead and get into the love messages y'all i'm gonna shake this up i've already smudged it i'm gonna pull a pile or you know i'm gonna pull some and we'll see what they got to say let's see if it matches up with some of the stuff that you know i channeled all right sorry if that's loud okay and I'm going to close my eyes. And if y'all didn't see my last reading, y'all, it's full to the brim, okay? 
So I'm going to close my eyes. I was told to move this out the way and get some down up in there. Okay, look. Ooh, that's, that's kind of a lot. But let's see what we got. All right. So pile one. Let's see what draws my attention first. This one. We have... I was playing a game. Look at that there. Did I not say that some of y'all may be thinking this person is playing and may not be taking them serious? So they're saying, yeah, sometimes they do be playing games with you. Pile one going right over to Kamiko with the monkey, okay? We have, you got that swag I like. Absolutely. I can put that right here. That goes to the uh, Queen of Cups. As well as um, the Ten of Cups and the Page of Cups with there is no one like you. Yes, you do have that swag that they like. That's why you was able to get in, in that armor is because they ain't used to somebody like you. What else we got? Meeting you was meeting the perfect stranger. Absolutely. Ten of Cups. Again, that brought me to this elephant. You, you could have came out the blue with this person okay you could have been looking one way and they could have been looking one way and spirit was like nope boom we finna put y'all together right now that's what i got from that card as well you are my endless love yes you are with that sunshine this person is in love with you that's why they want to spoil you i need time to reflect on me and you that goes to that sloth taking you know taking things easy, relaxing, being in the flow. Also, with the pentacles, I said they want to take things slow. They need time to reflect on me and you. And also, if you guys are in a separation right now, that is what they are doing. They could be seeking wisdom with that hierophant. I'm more than just talk. Did I not say that that sloth, uh, you know, deals with conversation? They're more than just talk. And I got, I was drawn to looking at the photograph. So maybe you guys just text. Maybe you guys don't have deep conversations or again, going back to that monkey. Maybe that you guys do have conversations, right? But I told you, I thought somebody was having conversations. And when you talk about something serious, this person may laugh or joke or, you know, it's hard for you to, to take them seriously. They're saying they're more than just talk. They are trying to, you know, show you action. Maybe that goes to the intimacy. Maybe that's why they want to do that instead of being verbal. Maybe, you know, the way they're communicating is not sitting well with you. All right. I desperately want to love you. Absolutely. Going to the king of pentacles and the queen of cups definitely this person has a lot of love for you a lot of compassion for you a lot of empathy for you does care about your feelings i have issues with authority okay that goes with the hierophant i got a couple things with that if you are a person who likes control in a relationship if you are a person who could be a little bit bossy could be a little bit overbearing they're saying that they don't like that and if that was an issue in the relationship and could have caused you guys to be at odds not seeing eye to eye or separate right now they're saying that that's part of the reason why they don't really like to be told what to do otherwise this is just a person who just doesn't like authority in general and that could go to the hierophant as well because hierophants represent institutions okay you will never settle when it comes to me you get the best of everything did i not say this king of pentacles want to spoil that behind absolutely breakfast in bed absolutely i gotta read that again you will never settle when it comes to me you get the best of everything i told you that this person had long-term plans for you the y'all i can't first nah -uh. y'all saw me turn it over okay now listen i'm finna read it look the angels are assisting us with this now i can't make that that stuff up i almost said s word look did i not say that that was spirit with y'all because y'all at odds for some reason or y'all just not seeing eye to eye the angels are assisting y'all with this now is not the right time and maybe that's why the angels didn't they say i need time to reflect on me and you so this person is is taking a step back 
to reflect on you guys. And it doesn't matter if you guys are together or not together. It could be something that you want to happen right now in the relationship if you guys are together and they're just saying now's not the right time. You you could be with this person and want to have a baby, want to have a child and they're like, well, well, let me check my finances first. Let me see if, you know, we can handle a baby at this juncture. You may want to move. You may want a new car, a new house if you guys are together. Put it wherever it resonates. And if you're not together, this person is trying to just really get wisdom on this situation, on why they feel the way they feel, on how you were able to come. Because look, my throat chakra, they didn't want me to say that. On how, okay? <laughs> By one person. You were able to, you know, get through that armor and touch that heart of theirs. Okay, why they are so fascinated with your pictures is what I heard. Why they can see a family with you and see total bliss with you is what I just heard. If you guys are not together, because this person never wanted to settle is what I heard. Come on through. I know I keep a looking. Y'all, I cannot. I know I keep looking the other way. Y'all, what did I say? What did I say? They said, I know I keep looking the other way. So they know they are letting things distract them. That could be frustrating you, especially if you guys, you know, are at a distance because I was just drawn to that world. Or you know that you guys could have a beautiful family relationship, home together. And they're saying, yeah, that's what they're working on. That's why angels is coming in to assist. I want to romance you. Can y'all see that? I want to romance you. What did I say with the breakfast in bed? Yes, they do. I know we can win. You better say it. Yes, I know we can win going to that Ten of Cups and the world. Yes, that's why the angels have come in. I feel like this is a very powerful connection between you and your person, Pile One. So if there's some stagnancy, if there's some things not going the way that you want right now, don't trip over that. Because I do feel like if you aren't together with this person, you guys are coming together and that's why the draw card is here because spirit could be drawing you guys back together right now i'm nervous a little uneasy about exposing my feelings to you so that could be part of it as well again they said you got through my armor and didn't i just say something about that they they're, they're trying to figure out how you got through it in the first place so they're saying they're a little nervous and uneasy about exposing their feelings to you but they are contemplating this going back to the sloth conversation okay i could easily fall no it says i can easily fall into temptation all right, so that's a fear of theirs. So they're letting you know, you know, sometimes they're not able to resist temptations. And because they said that you would never, they said what? You will never settle when it comes to me. You deserve the best of everything. So if this person has taken a step back or this person is not willing to commit to you at this time or just not making you a priority, it's because they know they, they have a tendency to fall for temptation and they don't want to hurt you is what I heard. Things seem different. You could be feeling that way with your person or your person could be feeling that way, especially if you were putting your all into the situation at one point and you may be pushing back. You may not just be giving as much as possible. You could also be in this queen of cups where you're really trying to sit with your emotions and not let your emotions overtake you, okay? To not be too over emotional over the situation. And I'm getting they're trying to not be that emotional as well. We have clock. Climb over my walls so I can love you, y'all. The armor. That's the issue. Okay, so if there's an issue in your situation with your person, Pile One, that's the issue. They have a wall built up and they, they just really don't like exposing their feelings. They don't have a problem dating. They don't have a problem being in a relationship. They just do not like being vulnerable and exposing their feelings. So if you felt that your person didn't care about you or had no emotions, I'm telling you they do. And maybe the, again, that's why we need to bring that romance in, get them comfortable. You know, maybe you gotta set the mood a little bit, you know, 
to get them to loosen up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Look, it says, yeah, my moves are snaky sometimes. Now listen, they said I can easily fall into temptation. So this person feels that they don't know if they could just be with one person. I think that is their main issue or they're used to just not, not, being in anything committed and just dating, you know, and I had, and I heard bed hopping, bed hopping and dating, you know, is, is typically what this person does. And they don't necessarily want to do that with you, but they do want a little time to take something slow with you pile once. So if you guys are not in anything committed at this time, just take baby steps with this person because this person knows deep down there's something special with you pile one and they do want to have something special with you this is taking too long I think that might be your energy pile one if you're getting frustrated with this person otherwise I'm getting if you guys are at a distance they don't like that it's taking too long for you guys to come together and I'm hearing it's taking too long for the, the angels to bring you back to me as well <laughs> Is what I heard. They said it's taking too long for the angels to bring you back to me. So I feel like this person is like sitting back, like just waiting for you to come back to them. Now, power one person, you better get up on the path. Now, you better talk to spirit because I don't necessarily know if power one is supposed to be coming back to you. You know, y'all take that where it resonates. But they feel like it's just taking too long for you guys to start this love or it's taking too long for them to heal the things that they need to heal to get on alignment to be with you. All right. I don't care about our differences. Look at that there. That brought me back to that hierophant too. You guys could have different religious spiritual beliefs. You guys could have different traditions. Could have grew up in, you know, different dynamics. So your customs. The things that you you um, do, morals, all of those type of things may clash. And they're saying they don't care about none of that. And if they cared about it before, they don't care about it anymore. Final message. My life looks great on the outside, but it's not really great right now. So this person is just dealing with some things. Didn't I say with this card, it could be some stuff pulling you away and them away and it could have nothing to do with y'all. It's just stuff that you guys are dealing with. And that could be why spirit's coming in to keep you guys apart as well. You guys may both have some stuff that you need to clean up in your life first before you guys can have a union. And these flipped over. I can easily fall into temptation and now is not the right time. So that's giving me that that's what either you, them, or both of you guys are working on. Really being committed to something once you are in that. And that doesn't, and that doesn't necessarily just have to do with relationships. Why can I speak? this? Y'all don't know why I'm fumbling over my words, okay? So this person may have an issue speaking. However... What I was saying with those two that were flipped over, I can easily fall into temptation and now is not the right time. It could be that you both are battling with things that could tempt you. And again, it doesn't have to be with a relationship. It could be a vice that you just have in life that could hinder this union if you guys came together. So Spirit wants you guys to work on that first before you come together, okay? So let's give one final message from your person, how they want to close it out, what their mood is towards you and what they want you to know. And I'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here, pile one. I was told, do it again. Okay, close my eyes. Okay, that's not one person, but I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a give it, look. I have to face this at some point. Somebody is a runner up in this connection. Again, going back to the elephant. So they know that they have to face you, pile one. They know that they're going to come back if they're not with you right now. And they know that there has to be some type of closure and resolution. And they are going to provide that for you. I feel like they just really taking their time to do it. Didn't I say somebody sitting back waiting for you to come back to them? Pile one person, I don't think it's going to happen now. Whatever. Now, this came out my last reading that <laughs> I did. And this was, whatever you need, my baby, I got you. And I think I forgot to tell y'all because um, I'm just rolling through readings. But this love box, Spirit Happy Channel 
two days ago, y'all, probably three days ago now. And some of the energies in this love box, so if some of the messages don't resonate, is there's a player in here, there's a hustler, there's a sincere soul, and this sincere soul really speaks from the heart and is very genuine about the things that they say. There's an innocent soul in here. There is someone in love in here. There are energies surrounding a love triangle in here. There is a broken hearted soul in here. There is someone who is new to love in here and someone who is awakening to a spiritual union or just to spiritual concepts in general so that is some of the energies that are in this box and I said that because this statement is oh no this one was whatever you need my baby I got you now going back to the king of pentacles whatever you need my baby I got you is the energy of a player or a hustler and when I mention hustler I am not always talking about a street hustler I am a hustler but I am a legit hustler okay so they could be just a person who just you know maybe a business owner you know uh, just about their paper about their coin you know has multiple businesses has their hands in multiple things where they generate income that is a hustler okay so this person is either a player, a hustler, or a street cat. That's the energy of that statement. And the my baby, that's just a term. That's a term that a lot of street cats, especially in the Midwest of Detroit, they say. So that's why I broke that down too, because I forgot to tell you what was in the box if you did not watch the last reading, okay? They said, you got me wrapped around your finger and there it is pile one that's the problem y'all i'm glistening i'm sweating sorry um that's the one okay you got them wrapped around uh, your finger you got through that armor they're willing to give you anything they want to give you breakfast in bed they said you ain't settling for nothing this person wants to give you the world and i'm getting they want to document that with the photograph and why do they want to give you the world because your love is unmatched with this queen of cups you are just so loving to them they feel that you can do no wrong is what i heard so it's their own stuff that they're dealing with whether you guys are together or not is their own stuff right now pile one are you only with me for what i can do for you going back to the king of pentacles and going back to the street cat the hustler or the player and i'm and i'm and i'm saying that because of this or, uh, and, and again a hustler is not just somebody who's in the street all right but this person going back to that king of pentacles is successful this person has some type of monetary wealth they have something that they have built up for themselves and they want to make sure that you are with them for love and not for what they can give you. And what I'm getting with that is maybe that's why they have walls up. Maybe that's why they fall in temptation easy because they don't really try to give their heart to people because they feel that people may be only with them for what they can give them. And this person truly loves you pile one. This person wants to give you the world, not just monetary. They want to give you their heart. They want to give you their love. Didn't they say climb over those walls so I can love you? So really cherish this person's heart. Really be genuine with this person and really be loyal to this person. I would not commit to this person at all if you cannot be loyal. Okay? Last message. I'll take... Y'all, I'll take my armor off. Don't bruise my heart though. Did I not? Did I not just say all that, y'all? High five person for backing your girl up. Yes, I'll take my armor off. Don't bruise my heart though. So don't bruise it out. I, I, and I was about to say, please don't bruise my heart though. They do not want you to bruise their heart, okay? So this person, you know, is just a little afraid of love. Take your time with them, pile one, whether you're together or not. Understand if you're not together, they're just healing. They're healing from some things and spirit is in the middle, helping the both of you, okay? So, if you enjoyed the reading pile one, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button. If it resonated, drop me a comment. If you enjoyed kicking it with your girl, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Love and All That Good-ish gang. If you are drawn to another pile, go ahead over there and I will see you there. Also, if you didn't watch the last reading, y'all, I am a spiritual teacher. I have another channel. It is called 
Empress, Empress Goddess of Healing, LLC. That's the name Spirit gave me to name the channel. I am a speaker of universal languages. So if you want to learn anything spiritual, crystals, herbs, chakras, talking to your higher self, ascending masses, angel, who is spirit, which is God, okay? Holy Spirit, okay? Anything that you want to know, I'm about to do a reading on dreams. I'm gonna do a reading on past lives, but I have readings already up. So you should always know how to move in your life, not just with love. You should be a supreme being moving in every area of your life to the best of your ability. And that's what God put me on this earth to help you with. So if you are interested in things like that, I will leave the link below. I will also leave your song below. So make sure that you listen to Saving All My Love For You by Chemistry. And again, I'm just so thankful and humble you're here with me, Pile One, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. If you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Those returning, those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, y'all from the bottom of my heart, y'all, I appreciate it. Thank you for believing in your girl supporting the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead, click the button. It is free, y'all. We have a good time over here. So today's reading, Pile 2, is what mood is your person in currently towards you and the connection, okay? And if you did not watch my last reading, you guys, Spirit made, had me make a couple days ago, it's probably three days now, a box of love. And I channeled all these messages, y'all, in one sitting. So after we get the energies, I'm going to go ahead and jump in this box of love and we will go ahead and get some messages from your person. There are many different energies in here. There is a hustler. There is a player. I don't know why pimp just came into my mind. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the box, but I just heard that. And everything I hear, everything I experience in a reading, I take. So I don't know where that resonates, pal, to. Okay. I heard pimping ain't easy. I can't. Anyway, okay. There is a very sensitive so sincere soul in here and they really speak from their heart an innocent soul someone who is in love someone just new to love someone who's a little stuffy and buttoned up need to unloosen their tie or unpin their hair okay is in this box someone broken hearted someone involved in a love triangle or someone who is either having a spiritual awakening or just woke up to or know they're in a spiritual connection so those are some of the energies in this box if I forget to mention once we get there okay so pile two you guys chose life is beautiful so off rip your person feels that they just have a good time with you they feel that you make things interesting you make them see the brighter side of life and they appreciate that from you. So I did channel a song for you before we get into the energies. And the song that I channeled for you, Pile 2, from your person is You and I by Avant featuring Kiki Wyatt. Now, the fact that I have a male singing featuring a female and they kind of interchange in the song I'm getting that you may feel exactly how your person is feeling piled too. So the song says, oh baby, funny how things have changed in my life now, whether near or far, I want to be where you are. And you're like a rose that blooms in my garden, innocent and sweet, my love you are. But one thing I know, girl, loving, loving, oh, loving, loving you is easy for me to do, baby. And I will feel this way to the end of time, even though you've heard this a thousand times, it's true, oh baby. So I got a lot from that, pile two. One, with the life is beautiful and the words and lyrics in this song, you have definitely changed this person's life in one way or other. I was just drawn to my plaque that has all these words and the first word that I saw was show compassion. So you may have taught this person how to show more compassion, not only to themselves, but to other people. It says, whether near or far, I want to be where you are. So whether you are with this person or not, they always desire to be with you, to be in your presence. Gives them a beautiful feeling and energy is what I just heard. You are like a rose that blooms in my garden. You bloom in this person's heart. 
beauty is a big thing for you or a big theme for you pile to definitely find you very attractive whether masculine or feminine and even though you've heard this a thousand times it's true so you could be a person that gets a lot of attention they could be either way whether you have people tell you this all the time they're trying to say how they feel for you is really true they do feel that they could see themselves with you till the end of time all right so that is the energy that your person has for you right now pile two these cards right here are your love notes and this represents the energy towards you as well and we have i love being with you how synchronistic would life is beautiful and i pull these at different times if you guys haven't watched my other readings and the other one is my favorite part of the day is being with you there's a bike on here so you guys might like to take bike rides i was drawn to that you bring a lot of celebratory energy in this person's life i was drawn to the balloons and the heart on the balloon is white I was drawn to that. They said something about innocent and sweet you are. They feel you have a very pure heart. Pile two. Very loving. I see really bright light when I, in my third eye around the heart. Very loving. They, they really, really like that about you. The overall love note for all three piles, regardless of what you choose, is thank you for being there for me. So in any way that you have been there for this person, they truly appreciate it. I heard listening ear. So some of you guys have really been a listening ear to this person. I'm also getting some of you guys, this could be a friend that you may not know has deep feelings for you because I just got that with the listening ear. These three cards down here, these notes are from my feelings exposed deck and they said i picture you are mine and i feel like in almost every reading somebody is desiring somebody to be there so this person pictures you are there so this is the person you are not with okay now all of my readings are timed so if you are with this person and this stuff resonates from the past and when they weren't with you they picture that you were theirs however i'm getting that you may not be with this person either you guys are separated at this time this could be an ex or this is something new this is someone who's crushing on you at this time pile two i saved the best for last look at that yes this is someone crushing on you this is someone who may date a lot you may date a lot going back to i know even though you've heard this a thousand times maybe you're just in the singling and mingling energy right now pile two and this person is saying they save the best for last. They are saving their love for you. Look at that. And that ties into pile one. If you were drawn to pile one, boom, that might be for you. Last note, I can see us doing business together. So this person feels that you are either successful in your own right or you uh, and this person could be successful together. I am hearing successful in your own right pile two so whatever you are doing right now this person admires that this person watches you this person just feels that you have a drive that is just like unmatched to most almost that once you get going you let nothing stop you and i'm hearing they really love that the feeling exposed note for all three piles pile two is there is no one as real as you so they feel that you are totally transparent you are totally authentic you rest in yourself you don't care what anybody else think they know that if they speak to you you will tell them the truth that you will keep it all the way 100 and they appreciate that about you pile two okay so let's go ahead now and get into their mood since that is the energy beautiful energy pile two that they have towards you right now let's get into the mood and we have head first we have making a stand and full disclosure so we have a bird a bull and a butterfly and i will start with the bird head first this person is ready to dive in with you pile two that's why i think that you uh, may not be with this person this could be a crush this could be a person that you guys are just dating and haven't taken it to the next level but this person wants to go in deep with you birds represent enlightenment elevation i do feel like this person has had some type of elevation or glow up in their life or you have pile two the bird also represents 
undying love. And I feel that this person has an undying love for you. And the fact that this bird is red and yellow lets me know that this person feels very stable with you and very stable in the love that they have for you. You also give them a lot of confidence with that yellow, which brings me right into the bull, making a stand. This person wants to make a stand with you. This person wants to ground some type of relationship with you. I'm heard, I, I, I'm heard. I heard they want to lay down roots. I heard they're very confident about how they feel about you, pile two. This is a person who could be a little bullheaded and stubborn at times. However, they don't want to be that way to you is what I just heard. This could be a person who is wealthy or very successful given they said, I can see us doing business together and bulls represent wealth and prosperity. However, this person just feels you guys would have a successful relationship. I'm hearing marriage as well with you pile two for those who like commitments that lead to marriage. Do you see how this bull has a rope like pulling on its neck? And I feel that some things could have tried to pull this person apart from you. And do you see how they're taking a stand? They're not going to let anything pull them away from this love is what I heard. With the butterfly, full disclosure, this person is ready to be vulnerable with you if they haven't in the past. This person is ready to express their feelings to you. Butterflies represent beauty. They represent transition. Again, I said, I think somebody went through a glow up, either use them or both. Also with the butterfly pile too, they could see a long life with you and they just want you guys to continue to, I heard glow. I was about to say grow together, but I heard glow. So maybe they feel you guys shine bright together. Maybe they feel you could be in the spotlight some type of way, pile two. The overall energy for the move for all three piles is draw with the sloth, okay? <laughs> and so you could be feeling a draw, a magnetic pull to your person or your person could be feeling that to you right now. Spirit could be jumping in, orchestrating to bring you guys back together. Now, the sloth. Sloths are kind of lazy. They like to relax. They're very calm. They like to go with the flow. So this person could have been a little nonchalant, could have just been going with the flow, especially if this is a crush and you may not know who this is that really wants to go in deep with you, you know, head first. They may have just been, you know, chilling in the background, you know, peeping out the scene, trying to see if I heard trying to see if you would accept them as a love interest is what I heard. So this could be a friend or just someone in your circle pile two that you may not know is crushing on you at this time. I was just drawn to funny how things have changed in my life now. I do believe this is somebody that you know pile two, someone around in your circle pile two that could be crushing on you or someone from your past that may want to come back around and rekindle something but we'll see when we go ahead and get into the love box all right pal two now that we know the mood towards your person we're going to see what energies could be influencing the connection right now and we're going to use my under the influence deck okay so i'm just going to get three energies that could be influencing this connection right now look at telepathy wanted to stay out then i'm going to get three cards of tarot on and we're going to jump into this love box okay look home i can't even shuffle y'all cards pile two i saw the compass so somebody might be trying to find some direction let's get one more card to clear the energy of the set all right spirit can you give me one more energy that could be influencing the connection with pile two and their person and we have special occasion bottom of the deck have several seats and look I saw memory lane and I'm gonna take it to and wedding didn't I say something about some I want you to see it y'all I can't okay I'm done person wedding and commitment y'all I told you somebody was thinking about that so telepathy wanted to jump out first you could have a telepathic communication with this person this person um, just has deep emotions for you because we have all of that water this person could also like marine life I got that as well but basically this person feels that you guys have a bond, a way to communicate where you don't always have to speak verbally. If you are in 
the presence of this person. You know who they are, even if it's not on a romantic tip, Pio 2. They feel they could just sit in a room with you. They feel that you, you, you can tap into them and they can tap into you. I'm getting best friend vibes for some of you as well. So they just feel that you guys have a connection that is unbreakable. With home, they feel at home with you. They feel that they can they can communicate freely with you with the blue because I did mention that some of them said that you were a great listener and they love talking to you. Others have been shown in their third eye is what I just heard of who you are and who you are to them, pile two. So there could be some spiritual soulmate connection going on here, especially with the marriage and the commitment. Given that there are three windows, it's given me two things. One, this person is very protective over you and the love that they have for you. But with the three, they just want to celebrate with you. They said life is beautiful. I told you I got celebration vibes with those balloons. They just want to celebrate with you. Build a happy home together. With special occasion, I feel that they think every day with you. Didn't they say my favorite part of each day is being with you? Every day is a special occasion occasion they could also be planning some things for you and want to you know plan a special occasion for you pile two i feel like this person is in a planning stage their mood is in a planning stage towards you at this time this this person is being very strategic of how they're moving around you at this time pile two then we got all these bonus okay i don't even know what came out i think it was have several seats and memory lane. So this could be somebody from your past like I picked up, okay? Uh, also, this could be someone from your childhood with these two children on there. You could have grew up with this person. This could be a childhood friend, someone you went to school with. Someone from back in the day is who I believe that this energy is. With have several seats, this is my card of people trying to infringe on the situation here or whatever this person is feeling and i also got that when i saw these this three it could be some people talking with the three i heard gossip in my head okay so some people could just be talking about it and your person is telling them to have several seats you can shut it to the up is what i heard i'm done <laughs> they said they can shut it to the up have several seats they ain't listening to nobody about how they feel what they say they hear first what they say they making a stand what they say Full disclosure, pile two. They flapping them wings. Get on, get on. They don't care, okay? Commitment. Definitely is looking for some type of commitment with you, pile two, and could lead to marriage, pile two, okay? So now look, headspace. Definitely having thoughts about you. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and get some tarot on it real quick. I'm gonna get three cards of the main energies and let's just see look i cut to the sun and ten of cups definitely wants to have some type of commitment some type of relationship with you pile two all right i am getting this narrative and i didn't want to say it but i'm about to go ahead and say it because i keep being drawn back to that three y'all i cannot stand uh, talking about cheating talking about dipping none of that and i do not want this channel to be that but i do have to deliver the messages when they're coming to me so if you do know that this person is already in a commitment could be married because i'm going back to the home and the three okay this person could be taking a stand in regards to that situation and maybe wanting to walk away from that because i was just drawn to the memory lane their thoughts keep bringing them back to the past someone from the past they keep being drawn to if this person is with somebody right now and I believe that's where this have several seats is coming in because they're making a stand. They're going to go after what makes them happy. So I did get that narrative if that resonates and that will resonate for a small few because I really feel that this is a person, even though it's a person from your past, I really feel this is a person who you're not with that you could just be dating. And you guys, I mentioned this in the last video. I don't know what the heck is going on with the weather where I stay, but I, the weather is bipolar where I stay. And y'all keep busting out sweating. So if you see me glistening, I truly apologize. I, I cannot control it at this very moment. I also get hot when I tap in, okay? All right, enough rambling. Where's my wine? 
clear the energy of this deck. Okay, Spirit, can you give me just one card for each energy to further clarify Pile 2's person's mood towards them? For telepathy, what card best represents that energy? The Fool. Look at that there. With the Hangman. Two major arcanas. Okay. So, Pile 2. With telepathy right in the full and the major arcana this person has gotten spiritual enlightenment on you pile two you could have as well remember what i said with that song that i feel that you both feel the same way this person does want a fresh start with you whether you know this person and have been with this person or not they do want to have some type of beginning with you this person feels that they're a little naive in love though they want you to be gentle with them is what i heard this person also likes to talk to you telepathically a lot because it just makes them safer they don't want to be rejected they feel that if they continue to talk to you that way i think this is somebody in your presence if they continue to talk to you that way it's like they can hold on to you and they they don't want to put themselves out there if they can't have you. I was just drawn to my my plaque over here and it says, be your best self. I believe that this that's what this person is trying to be with you. Be yourself. They they enjoy that you are their self and they feel they could be their self with you. But the main thing that stuck out was dream big. And this person is dreaming big when it comes to you. Also, this person is in a hanged man energy right now, which means I told you somebody was planning. So this person is that this person is in a stagnant energy. If nothing's moving forward in the connection, this is purposeful because this person is purposely trying to survey what's going on, purposely trying to just get better understanding, better enlightenment of what is going on, especially if they're new to spiritual concepts or have never had a telepathic communication with someone or you and just really trying to understand that also i feel that that makes them want to uh, dive in head first also makes them want to take a stand on this relationship and their love for you even if they could be with someone else with the hanged one this also stands for sacrificing things right now for something better in the future something better to come along and i do feel that that person is doing that this person wants to look they said i saved the best for last i was just drawn there so this person is going to sacrifice some things whether it hurts them or not is what i just heard because they want to be with you that was a lot right there in the tell in the telepathy that's major energy with this connection because those are two major arcanas okay Let's go ahead and get home. All right, Spirit, we're home. Can you give me an energy that is influencing that? Or what card best represents the energy of home? Ace of Cups. Absolutely a home full of love. Come on through. Bottom of the deck with the lovers. Y'all, I can't make it up. Like, stop it. Okay? Didn't I say they beautiful life? All right? So, they do feel there is a soul bond. You can have a soul contract with this person. But they want to have a beautiful life with you. They want to be in love with you is what I heard. So this person could be falling for you, but they want to be in love with you. And they just want to, you know, overflow. They want their love to shower you is what I heard. And they just want to have a happy home. That's really what I'm getting with this home. They want to have a happy home with you. All right. Now let's do special occasions. I heard some of them want to buy you a home is what I just heard. Come on through person. <laughs> I just heard you can have whatever you like. <laughs> okay, person, come on through. All right. I don't know why I'm shuffling, but y'all, I, I do intuitive action. I think your person distracted me when I was listening to him. So let's go ahead and get the last energy. Clear the energy of the set. Okay, Spirit, can you give me the card that best represents the energy for special invitation? That was a lot. Look at that there. We got the five of swords, the moon, and the five of wands. Okay. And I would drop a card. Hold on. Hi, y'all. Uh... Okay. With the five of wands, the five of swords, and the moon. 
We have fives, okay? So this person is going through a powerful change right now. You could be too. The bull represents powerful change as well as the butterfly. Didn't I say with the have several seats that this person may be battling with other people? With that five of wands, that's what I'm getting as well. This person just could be battling with other people about how they feel for you right now. This person is not battling with themselves about how they feel because remember, they want to be head first. This has to do with other people. With the moon, this could be something that is hidden from you or they could be trying to hide this from you at this time. I do feel this person doesn't want to bring you any type of drama, any type of conflict, and they will stick up for you. They will make sure that people on you, no one will disrespect you is what I just heard, pile two. Come on through, all right? Also, this person could be dealing with some shadow work right now. The moon deals with shadow work and I was drawn to that dark figure right there. Again, going back to, I think there's outside people like trying to be in this person's ear when it comes to you, pile two. And I think that could be what's stopping this person from really going forward because we have the five of swords and that's all about like mental conflict. Both of these are about like conflict, okay? So there is some type of issue that is preventing this person from having what they want with you, which is a union, a happy home. Also with the five of swords, that represents gossip, that re represents arguing. So I'm getting that this person is battling with people in either their family or in their home right now. And although they are trying to, not them, but the family or the friends or whatever are trying to change their mind or trying to influence them when it comes to you they're not going to let that happen again they are making the stand this person does not feel any conflict with you whatsoever none at all okay so that goes on the special occasion also with the special occasion because <laughs> i just looked at that with the five of swords the five of wands and the moon you may not know that this person is planning things for you pile two Okay, this person could be battling with themselves trying to really hold it back because I, I feel this person really wants to celebrate with you. So let's go ahead and get into the love box and let's see what messages your person has for you. So basically, your person just feels life is beautiful with you. They feel they could have a wonderful relationship, a wonderful life with you. There is some drama going on that's centering around this person. I do feel that this person is a friend of yours someone crushing on you or someone that you know or someone from your past. I do not feel that you are with this person. For some of you, this person could already be involved with someone else. And if that's the case, they are making a stand to remove themselves from that so that they can be with you because they do feel like you are a divine counterpart to them with the lover's card. They want to have a new beginning of love with you with the ace of cups. They feel they are falling in love with you. They said, I saved the best for last. I picture you are mine. This person has got a lot of insight. They have spent a lot of time, if they meditate, they've been meditating on you, but they've just spent a lot of time alone by themselves, really mulling over what this relationship is, why they feel the way they do, why you guys have a telepathic communication, okay, or a telepathic bond. They're really trying to figure that out, okay? So now, let's go ahead and get the box. I am going to shake it up, and I'm just going to take a handful and then we'll see what they have to say okay so hopefully this isn't loud brace yourself okay i'm gonna close my eyes and i'm just gonna grab some okay so let's see what we got here let's see what your person wants to say pile two we have we are getting off course now with the five of swords the moon and the five of wands. If you are fighting with this person, which I'm thinking is kind of petty because I didn't get any like heavy energy. If you are fighting with this person, then they feel that that is taking you guys off course and they don't like that. Otherwise, there are things in this person's life that's surrounding them that you may not know with the moon that they feel is taking them away from you. Oh, let me shuffle y'all. Okay, we have Certain things I just couldn't tell you. What I say with the moon, did I not just say? There's some certain things that you just may not know. So there's certain things that may be distracting this person or pulling this person away from you or just that they have to handle 
and they feel it's getting you guys off course. I'm a little self-absorbed currently. Okay, so I'm getting that. I'm not really getting that pile too. What I'm getting is maybe they were in the past. Maybe this person was something, maybe in the past, this person was a person who was self-absorbed. But with the head first, I'm making a stand, full disclosure. I picture you being mine. This person is changing that. This person doesn't want to be self-absorbed, not with all of this that's here. So that could have been a trait. That could be some shadow work that they are shedding. It says, what do I think about the way you are? Perfect. So, <laughs> so if you ever wondered, Pile 2, what they think about you with the life is beautiful, they said, what do I think about the way you are? Perfect. Going to that Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Absolutely. That's why they feel they can have a happy home with you. Come on through. My inner drive increases when I am around you. Yes, the bull. That motivation, that determination, making them want to go head first, okay? They could see a commitment with you. They could see if they believe in marriage. They can see that with you. They said, I could see doing business with you. So you just motivate this person. I'm suffering a few setbacks. Look at that there. Like I said, I don't think this five of swords and this five of wands represents you, pile two. This person got some stuff going on. This person is fighting with other people. It has nothing to do with you. I value you. What I say? Because they value you. You better say that with the lovers in the Ace of Cups. Absolutely. Okay, now listen. Listen. Now look. Look. Before I read this. Okay, bow two. Remember I said that I don't really like talking about dipping and cheating. But I, I could had to say it that somebody might already be in a home with somebody and be married. <sighs> well, if you resonate with that file too, yeah, because they said, I want you to be my side piece. I'm going to just throw that right there. Okay. Excuse me. Anyway. So pile two, if you resonate with that, there are some that still, you know, with somebody but want you to be that side piece. And if that is the case, that's where that five of swords and that five of wands is coming in. That could be causing some conflict in between you two. That could be causing some fighting in the home if the person in the home know they got a side piece. Okay, so you take that where it resonates. I'm sorry I ignored you. So for those who knew that this person was crushing on, on you or you were crushing on this person or you just wanted to communicate with this person in any type of way and they ignored you, they apologize. Especially for the ones that may already be with somebody in a home, they had to ignore you to keep peace in the home is what I heard. Well, then you don't know how to have no side piece then, person. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me stop. I just don't like that whole side piece. Like, there's too many people out here for you to be somebody's second, third best. Like, I'm number one. I'm the only one. Ain't no number. I'm the only one. Okay. All right, let's go. Can you look past my flaws? All right. Going back to the five of swords and the moon. So they want to know, can you look past their flaws? And I'm hearing some of their insecurities as well. I'm not sure which path to take. Both will affect me immensely. Okay, y'all, I told y'all. Did I not say there's some people trying to encroach on this? It's trying to like get in their ear and they trying to make a stand. And with the fool and the hanged man, I said that somebody got in their third eye who you were to them and who they are to you. Yeah, they're saying I'm not sure which path to take because it will affect me immensely. So if this person is ignoring you right now, it's because they need to figure out what path to take. Either one, if they come with you, it's going to be beautiful. But whatever they're leaving, whatever they're sacrificing, didn't I say some people were sacrificing some things for something better down the line. So they are trying to really figure out, you know, is this worth the risk with the fool? Which deep down they do know is worth the risk, but you don't know what they could be involved in. If this person is already married, you know, they could have money tied in, assets, children, you know what I'm saying? Uh, businesses, they could just really have things intertwined and it may not be easy for them to cut things off. They could be dealing with someone if they, because I'm uh, this is a narrative, 
if they are with somebody, they could be dealing with somebody that they know all the way there with that five of swords and that five of wands and maybe trying to bring drama to you and they just ain't having that. Didn't they say something about ain't nobody going to disrespect you? Yeah, they ain't having that. My hands need to be wrapped around that body. Absolutely. Absolutely wrapped around that body going to the lovers, you know. And that Ace of Cups may want to make love to you with the Ace of Cups and that lovers, okay? I prayed for that one to come along. Never thought it'd be you. Absolutely. Life is beautiful. Never thought that would be you. Especially if this person is already with somebody or you are with somebody and this is a friend looking from the outside. Somebody's watching somebody from the outside who's already with someone, okay? And it doesn't have to be a cheating thing. You could just be single and this is somebody who's admiring you, but you are already in a relationship or they're already in a relationship. But somebody's watching somebody and, you know, they're just shocked like, oh my gosh, you are the person I'm to be with. Again, going back to the lovers, going back to the hangman, going back to the fool, okay? Looking at you is staring at a vision of love. Going again back to that lovers and the ace of cups. Absolutely. What did they say? I love being with you. My favorite part of each day is being with you. That's being with you twice. And I just noticed that. I am already emotionally invested. Again, going to the lovers and that ace of cups. Yes, they are. So if they're in this energy where you don't really know how to read them and you couldn't really tell if they had thoughts of a commitment or thoughts to be with you or progressing this forward, absolutely, because we got commitment and the wedding over there. You make everything so special. Absolutely. Life is beautiful with you. You exhaust me emotionally. Now listen, <laughs> where's the other one that it says something about I'm already emotionally invested? Where is that one? Mm. Okay, listen, look, I'm already emotionally invested. That's green in the heart space. Deep, deep emotions for you, right? And it says you exhaust me emotionally, which means because this is the solar plexus chakra, especially if they are masculine, because that's where that masculine energy uh, resides. <laughs> They don't like that. You kind of messing with their ego and their pride a little bit. Not in a bad way, but they just like, oh, can you be mine already? Why was I just drawn to follow your heart and enjoy the little things? And that's what you make them do. They enjoy the little things with you and they want to follow their heart with you. I rip y'all. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You see me? Turn it over. But let me tell you, did I not say something about, I thought this was a friend or a best friend or something. And they liked the way you talk to them and stuff like that. I was channeling. Well, look. I need my friend back. Okay, then I say a childhood friend or somebody from the past, they need their friend back pile too. So if there was some disagreement, some fighting, you know, discord with the five of swords and the five of wands that caused you guys to, you know, be at odds with each other, then they want that to stop. They said they need their friend back. And if none of that happened and that's just what's going on in their life and for whatever reason you guys aren't talking, especially if it's because they ignored you, they're saying... You know, they need their friend back. They sorry. Forgive me. Didn't it say something about look past my flaws? Last message. Your innocence is one of my favorite qualities about you. Your innocence. Going to the fool. The fool is all about childlike wonder. All about innocence. All about seeing the world through fresh eyes. And I think that's what you do. That's the energy you embody pile two and that's why life is beautiful with you so let's go ahead and get one more message from your person this is their final thought about what they want to communicate to you in regards to their mood pile two and i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here all right and close my eyes and i'll grab i'm trying to grab one okay we have final thought what if this love is not reciprocated and that's with the throat chakra so this is what they really want to communicate this person really wants to jump in head first this person wants to make a stand and will make a stand even if they in something if they know that they can have you they want to be fully transparent with you and want you to have full disclosure with them pile too so they really want to know especially if this is a friend and you've never had anything romantic with them and you may not even see them that way this could be why they haven't really expressed this to you yet is because they are they are afraid it's not reciprocated and i've been told to get one more okay one more person person didn't want to leave it off with just a question let's see <laughs> 
this connection will be victorious. Now, wait a minute. Did you see that? First they said, what if this love is not reciprocated? Again, going back to that throat chakra. Then they came back and said, this connection will be victorious. Going to that Ace of Cups and the Lovers. Absolutely. And that fool. They said it's going to be victorious. Pile two. And they're going to make sure they have something with you. Pile two. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated, leave me a comment. I love feedback. If you enjoy kicking it with your girl, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, y'all. It is free and we have a good time. Every reading will have messages from your person. If you are drawn to another pile, go over there and I will see you there. And if you did not know, Pile 2, I am a spiritual teacher. I do have another channel. It's called Empress Goddess of Healing. I will leave the link below. If you want to know anything about divine counterparts, twin flames, spiritual aspects, crystals, herbs, universal law, speaking in universal language, angel numbers, just anything spiritual, whose spirit is, which is God, the Holy Spirit, y'all, okay? Hit the link below and check out my other channel. I would love for you to join me over on that channel as well and become one of my Divine Being Gang members. If not, if you just like kicking it over here and loving all that goodish gang, chill over here with your girl. I love you over here as well, okay? So enjoy the rest of your day, pile two. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing. If you did not watch the intro, welcome to the channel. I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. If you are new, welcome, welcome. Those returning, those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, thank you so much for loving on your girl. I appreciate every comment, every like, every view. I see the numbers growing up. If you have not subscribed, hit the button, y'all. We have a good time over here, okay? If you did not watch the intro, this reading is what mood is your person in regarding you and the connection before i get into the energy and their mood i did channel a song for you pile three and the song that your person channeled for you is don't be afraid by faith so they don't off rip want you to be afraid of their love and it says baby don't be afraid afraid of my love since we've been together baby it hasn't been too long but i slowly feel myself falling in love again and i want to give you more of what i have inside but if i open up to you baby you got to love me too off rip pile three this person feels they are falling in love with you this is either Someone you are with that you guys just started a relationship, haven't been together that long. This is a budding romance or this is a person who has not been in love in a very long time or you and now you have sparked those feelings in them to make them consider falling in love again. They are truly afraid to fall for you, pile three, and if they fall for you, they want you to fall for them back. They want to make sure before they give you their heart that you will you will accept their heart is what i said and also reciprocate their love now pile three you guys chose grateful so this person is extremely grateful to have you in their life in whatever way that you are in their life i heard grateful to god for making you wow pile three okay now their energy towards you at the present moment with the two love notes is you make my heart smile and I'd be lost without you. So again, if this is just a new relationship, you guys haven't been together that long, they're telling you now, they would be lost without you. You make their heart smile. If you guys are not together, they are already lost without you. Why? Because you make their heart smile. And I think that not too many people can do that. No one has done that is what I just heard, okay? The overall energy for all three piles for the love note is thank you for being there for me again so this person is really grateful for you pile three because we have grateful and then thank you for being there for me so if you did not feel that you made a mark in this person's life or that this person wasn't thankful to know you they truly are thankful to know you with my feelings exposed deck i created their thoughts are your life looks great while mine is falling apart and I don't want to be lonely. So 
whether you're with this person or not this person is going through a tough time right now that you are either aware of or may not be aware of it's making them feel isolated it's making them feel lonely again they said i would be lost without you and this person doesn't want any type of separation if there's a separation with you guys they don't want that if you are with this person again even if it's new this person really needs a shoulder to lean on at this time i heard a shoulder to cry on to cry on for some people and i think they may not have wanted me to say that because you know i got caught up on that word but somebody really needs someone to be there for them without any strings attached without any I'm hearing without any desire to receive anything in return they just really need someone to be there for them the feeling exposed no for all three piles pile three is there is no one as real as you and this is why they are grateful for you pile three they truly feel that you are a person that they can depend on that you are a person who keeps it real that you are a person that they don't have to look over their shoulder or worry about being stabbed in the back is what i heard come on through now we're going to get into what their mood is towards the connection pile three and this is my mood swings oracle and you guys got three two i thought pile two was the only one who had three cards but no you guys have three two and you have preoccupied with the cat making noise with the grasshopper and synergy with the two lions and we're going to start off with preoccupied right now this person is preoccupied because again they said your life looks great while mine is falling apart and the fact that this cat is looking at that top light which is blue okay so it could be three things in their life right now that are preoccupying their attention but the main thing that's affecting them right now is communication this person may not be communicating to you this could be a no contact pile this person may not be able to say what they are going through again this person just wants someone to be there they don't want to be alone at this time so this person may not even just want to speak they just want to know that they have somebody who's got their back who's around them at this time is what i just heard and they're just very preoccupied that's what i'm getting with this card they're just very preoccupied they are fixated also given that that's blue and that deals with the throat chakra and i heard in my head life force okay so i don't know if someone's draining their energy at this time if whatever they're going through is draining their energy at this time if they are fighting battling with getting on the right path if they're having a hard time seeing whatever the situation is as a whole because the throat chakra deals with seeing the one will of god and seeing an individual for whole they could be having an issue with that as well so their mood towards the connection is they're preoccupied so and they also could feel either you're preoccupied with something and you're not paying attention to them but that's not what i'm getting because they said you make my heart smile and i would be lost without you so they don't want anything to preoccupy them or they don't want anything to preoccupy you from them but they are in the energy of being preoccupied with i don't know if it was synergy we'll, we'll do synergy next since this is what i grab with synergy they feel you guys make a great pair they feel that you guys are in sync they feel very protective over you lions protect what they love all right and i also feel that whatever is causing you guys not to speak because i do feel there's a blockage in the throat chakra it makes them angry with the lion this is how they want to be with you just all snuggled up this is what their desire is right now in their heart with making noise okay with the grasshopper i feel like this person may be i heard yelling so again i was talking about that throat chakra so maybe they're communicating but they're not communicating in the most loving way and i don't think they're communicating with you i think they're communicating with other people this is almost like pile two a pile two's person had outside stuff affecting how they were interacting with you or how they wanted to progress things forward grasshoppers do stand for forward movement though so they do want to move this forward with you they also stand for astral travel so if you do have a spiritual connection with this person if you know that you bounce around in that 5d in that astral realm or maybe even dream about this person this person could be doing that with you especially if 
they are not with you. Okay? And, and grasshoppers also take leaps of faith. So at this time, the mood that your person has towards you is they're a little preoccupied with other things that could be distracting them from you. However, they do want forward movement with you. They do want to take leaps of faith with you. And they are very protective over you and this love. They feel that you guys are in sync with the Synergy card. So you guys would make a great couple. And they just want to be with you. They, I, I'm really getting somebody wants somebody to just be there for them. No strings attached. Whether it leads to romance or not. That's what they want right now. The overall energy of the Moon Swings Oracle for all three piles is draw. And again, we had synergy. So you and this person could be feeling some type of pull to each other. I also feel you guys both have great chemistry with each other you guys both also could just be very relaxed when it comes to this union i'm not getting very intense vibes so whatever you have with the person on your mind or your person i feel that you guys are just very relaxed also this card is about conversation and i feel like conversation in some type of way is the thing for you and pile three i feel like this person really wants to communicate to you about something and we will see as we get into the message box okay so let's go ahead and see what energies could be influencing this connection right now now that we know you know how they feel about you and their energy towards you is beautiful they're very thankful for you again you make their heart smile so you make them very happy and even though their life is falling apart i'm hearing that they can bring their mind to you and you instantly can put a smile on their face and bring their heart joy you bring this person peace i think this is why they want to be in your presence and i don't feel like this person wants to talk when they're in your presence i see in my third eye somebody just laying on somebody i see somebody just watching movies with someone snuggling on a couch maybe just trying to get their mind off of whatever's happening in their life in pile three whatever is happening in this person's life is something major it is something major because they want a distraction right now, okay? Clear the energy of the set. Spirit, can you give me three cards that best display the overall energies that are influencing this connection with Pile 3 and their person? We have leaving. Look at that there. We have oh my gosh. I dug myself in a hole an emergency. Now listen. I think I just said uh, that this person was going through something major with the emergency. This could have came up out the blue. This could be an emergency with the family. Could be emergency with their work. Could be emergency with finances, their stability, with leaving. This person may have to go somewhere that maybe they don't want to go. If you guys live in the same city or state, this person may have to leave for a job. This person may have to leave for other reasons. And this could be really making them feel bad because they said I would be lost without you because you make my heart smile so if something is pulling this person away from you where there could be distance involved this really makes this person worried and this is what they are preoccupied with this emergency them digging themselves into a hole now I don't know if you watched the other reading but in this love messages box I have a hustler. I have a player. And I think I said in pile one, it might, or pile two might have been a pimp. And pimp just came out again. And I didn't channel no doggone pimps up in here. But it must be a pimp up in here somewhere. Maybe the hustler and the player trying to be a pimp too. Mm. Okay. Anyway, there is a very sincere soul in here. A very gentle soul. All right. So there's just a lot of different energies in here. So I say that to say for the ones leaving and I dug myself in a hole, some of them may have gotten into some trouble if they are a street cat or hustler on that illegal side. You know what I'm saying? They may have gotten into some trouble and may be afraid something may be pulling them apart. So those are the energies that are affecting leaving. Or you could be leaving. You could have got a promotion or a drop. You could just decide you want to live somewhere else. Something could be pulling you apart from this person and that just makes them very sad. I was drawn right back to I dug myself in a hole. So this is something that whatever this person did to dig themselves in a hole is something they did to themselves. Okay? Nobody did it to them. They did it to themselves being careless is what I heard. Look, 
bottom of the deck distance so distance is a factor in this pile three i think that's the main concern of this person and what they're preoccupied about is the distance also if you know who this is and you guys are communicating with each other and that is what the main issue is is somebody's leaving this because i said something about yelling this could be causing you guys to maybe fight and that could be where i was getting that throat chakra and the communication this could be where this person is making noise to say hey i don't want you to go i, I want to build a life with you here please don't leave me is what i heard come on through okay come on through but somebody and then for the people who are actually you know dug themselves in holding this that emergency something really really serious i told you somebody wants somebody just to be there for them no strings attached just be there for me is what i just heard okay so somebody's having an emergency look at that five of swords all right again i was just talking about somebody making noise and yelling could have been some fighting okay but it definitely somebody is in their head preoccupied definitely in their mind okay they are definitely having thoughts that are not on the most positive side given that's the five of swords clear the energy of this deck okay spirit can i get one card for each energy that's influencing influencing the connection so that we can further clarify the mood that pile three's person has towards them then we have the ace of wands look at that with the hangman look at that yes okay with the leaving card pile three all right let's see if i can hold them all up and the ace of wands and the hangman they feel that whatever is causing them to have to leave or you leave it's blocking this new beginning of love of passion of experience excitement of adventure with you it's making them feel very stagnant very stuck very unable to move forward they do not want whatever this is that's causing either you to leave or them to leave they do not want it at all it's making them very very temperamental okay very temperamental they do not like it it's, it's making them angry okay <laughs> With, I dug myself in a hole. Fear, can I get a card that best represents the energy of that card? I dug myself in a hole. We have the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay, so look, I got a couple things with that. With, I dug myself in a hole. If this person walked away from you with the Eight of Cups, right? For whatever reason, if they walked away from you, they regret that now they feel like they have now dug themselves in a hole and may not be able to come back to you i did get that also with the eight of cups this person invested it emotionally into something whether it was a person whether it was a business whether it was just the love for things of this earth that really you know excited them emotionally whatever this is that they walked away from with that eight of cups and i'm getting passion because we have a page of wands i'm getting it could have been passion if you have a family with this person a child and they walked away from the child and not helping you they feel they done dug themselves in a home and they a home yeah yeah if they walked away from the home because i said that it's a baby involved pile three they regret that immensely they feel they should have never walked away they now feel that they have dug themselves in a hole because again they feel that they can't get back and like i said in every reading y'all i don't know what is going on with the temperature and the weather i keep getting hot then i get cold so if you see me sweating i apologize i, I have no control over it and i also get hot when i tap in okay with the page of wands this person is lacking enthusiasm right now in their life they just don't feel like their life is going the way that they want it to go and they feel very bored they feel very discontent they just feel like they said my life your life looks great while mine is falling apart i'm also getting that if they did not walk away from you right and this leaving is causing them to have to walk away they are mad because you make them so happy they are they were so excited by you and then something came in with this emergency because it's giving me like the tower something came in and is now ripping them from you and they do not like that i just keep hearing i do not like to look i cut to the devil okay 
They could have been doing some things, you know, not on the up and up. If we dealing with some of them cats in that box that may be leaving, you know, for legal reasons. All right. Otherwise, just some bad behaviors just because they dug themselves in that hole. So it's just some self-sabotaging stuff that they did is why. And again, I don't know why I am shuffling, but I, that's what I was called to do. And look. I see the seven of swords, so they could have had some deceitful behavior, could have been somebody around them that was deceiving them. What I'm getting is they were a little sneaky is what I just heard. So that could have caused them to dig themselves a hole. Spear, can I get a card for emergency? What card best represents the energy of emergency? We have the four of pentacles with the knight of wands. Absolutely. Look. Do you see in that four of pentacles they are holding on tight? That's the emergency. They are trying to hold on to you. And I'm hearing also just their stability in life right now. They are really trying to hold on to, to whatever they have built up in this life right now. They are trying to hold on to it because something is coming in trying to threaten it is what I just heard. With the knight of wands, this person could have been a person in and out of your life or just a person who really did not think things through. Just really went after whatever excited them, whatever ignited their passions, whatever made them feel good. I remember I said that whatever they dug themselves in a hole is they emotionally invested in it, all right? And now, you know, with that emergency, it's coming back to bite them, all right? Also with the emergency, with the Knight of Wands, it's coming quick. So if it hasn't happened already, it's going to come quick. It, it, it may even knock them over. With the Knight of Wands, it's either dealing with career or something that they were very passionate about. Okay? Clear the energy of this deck. Now, also, with the Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles with the emergency, this could have been a person who was a player. This could have been a person who, you know, just thought they was top dog, just was only concerned about the, their outer appearance and how their pentacles made them look and that's why they held on to that and that could be a breakdown spirit could be coming in and breaking down that false illusion that could be the emergency as well i do feel like there's something that's taking this person away this person is, is suffering some type of loss okay all right spirit can we go ahead and clarify distance what energy is most representing distance we have the five of swords with the five of wands. And I think this came out in pile two. So they do not like this distance. Whatever this distance is, is causing conflict. It's causing fighting with the five of swords. Fighting within themselves because they said, I dug myself in a hole. So they're really beating themselves up for whatever it is that is causing you guys to have to separate. And I'm getting that this leaving is not somebody breaking up. I'm getting this leaving is somebody moving to another state, another country. Somebody may be having to sit down because they done got in trouble. You know, somebody may have to go to school if you are a younger person going to college or something, but there's some type of distance and it's something that is happening that is out of their control. Going back to this hangman, this is a forced sit down. This is a forced break is what I'm hearing. A forced period where there can't be any forward movement at this time. And that is really bothering this person. It could also be bothering you as well if you are resonating with some of those scenarios and you know that this person, you know, has to leave. Okay? So their energy towards you, pile three, is that you make their heart smile. They have fond feelings for you. They're very grateful to have you in their life. They feel that you guys are in sync, have great chemistry. They are well aware that things are preoccupying them from you at this time. They know they have dug themselves in a hole, whether it's something they did to you or something outside. Something is causing you guys to separate that is going to cause you know, them to have to leave or you leave and put distance in between both of you. And that is the conflict that they are having right now. So they, they are having that conflict in their mind and they could be displaying that in their actions with the five of wands, being a little defensive and testy. So let's go ahead and get, look, this one flipped out my hand. Let me see what that is. Look, we got the lovers. Okay. Also, 
with the lovers, when that just came with the five of swords and the five of wands, you guys could be fighting about a lover or you guys could just be, again, fighting about whatever this relationship is. Because the lovers is all about choosing to be with each other. Maybe that's where the conflict is. One person is choosing to be with the other and the other one may not be able to be with them right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the love box, pile three. I'm going to shake this up. I do not know how loud this is. I'm going to pick some messages. I'll close my eyes when I pick them and then we'll just go from there. Remember, there are many different energies in here. So you only take the messages that resonate, okay? All right. Okay, let's go. This one just flipped out. We have, you make all my pain melt away. Grateful. You make my heart smile. You better say it, person. Okay, didn't I say that somebody just wants to be in somebody's presence, may not even want to talk that much. They just really need to be preoccupied by the stuff. I heard the, the shit storm that's going on in their life right now. Okay, come on through. All right, we have, you don't hide from the light beautiful absolutely with that hanged man the hanged man is all about being enlightened do you not see that light around their head that's getting wisdom from spirit they love that about you that you do not hide from your light pile three your hands stay in my pockets now i get two things from that and that's the hustler or the player <laughs> But I get two things from that. So that just brought me right back to the four of pentacles, okay? The fact that this person is grateful for you, I do not feel like if your hands are in their pocket, it's, it's, it's not something that they don't like. They don't mind you having your hands in their pocket if that resonates with you because they are very grateful for you. Otherwise, this is everybody else around them. This is part of that emergency. This is part of what they're walking away from. This could be part, also part of what dug themselves in a hole if they were trying to support and take care of everyone. All right? I love you for you absolutely with grateful and you make my heart smile yes they love you for you this telepathic connection is crazy huh so some of them are acknowledging going to that lover's card some of them are acknowledging and the synergy pile three that they have a telepathic bond with you that they speak to you in their head that they hope that you hear them when they're communicating to you that you won't leave them is what I just heard so this person is communicating to you if you guys aren't speaking begging you is what I heard begging you not to leave I heard I got in some trouble so some people have gotten in some trouble and they're begging you not to leave I feel it when you are sad. This person has a telepathic and empathic connection with you. They said they feel it when you are sad. That just brought me back to that eight of cups. Damn, that femininity. All right, so if you are dealing with a masculine pile three, they love your feminine energy. If you are dealing, it really doesn't even matter. Even if you are masculine dealing with somebody who's resting in their feminine energy, they love that about you. The feminine energy deals, or, you know, resides in your sacral chakras. If you don't know what your feminine energy is, that's that softness, you know, being tender, okay, creative, receptive, knowing when to push, knowing when to sit back, you know, just not being very hard and tough, nurturing, loving, compassionate. Those are traits of femininity. You have the power to hurt me more than anyone. Going to, I would be lost without you. Going to that four of pentacles as well could be why they really hold on tight to their feelings for you, okay? And if they did walk away, that hurt them more than anything. My love is all yours. So if they are preoccupied right now, Pile three, whether this is y'all uh, together, no contact, whatever the, the it, whatever the situation is with this dynamic right here, they're saying your love is all theirs, and if something is pulling them away, they want you to rest in the fact that their love is all yours. You are on my mind, so tough to death. 
So they are, again, still preoccupied. They're letting you know today, whenever you are seeing this, you are on their mind tough right now. Your name is engraved in my heart. How synchronistic would you make my heart smile? Absolutely. Your name is engraved in their heart. They said you got all they love. I don't really choose. I just let things fall where they may. Now, that goes to the I dug myself in a hole between the hangman and the eight of cups. I said if somebody left you or walked away, especially if you had a baby with them, is because they don't like to choose anything. They, they just like to let things fall. They are a person who just wants to go with the flow. I think they are afraid to make decisions because they don't want to hurt anybody's feelings is what I just heard. However, they need to make a choice with that lovers and that could represent that as well because it's not benefiting them from not choosing. Also, I got because they didn't take a stand you know, for themselves or choose that's what got them in trouble too with I dug myself in that hole. Also could be why somebody's leaving because they didn't make a choice. They didn't sit there and say, hey, I love you. Hey, I want you to stay with me. Please don't go. I'd be lost without you. If they just sat on all those emotions and didn't say that and now either you're walking away or they're walking away, they don't like that. They regret that immensely. Answer my text. All right, so if this, <laughs> if this person is texting you, trying to communicate with you, again, the softest communication now, and you are ignoring them, they don't like that. Especially if they, they have done some stuff outside of you that is causing them to come, be away from you or you away from them, they need you to answer them text. They're lost without you. I'm sad when I don't have your love. This person is devastated when they are not with you, Pile 3. They can't take it. We need to be apart right now. Now look at that there. They said, I'm sad when I don't have your love. But then they said, we need to be apart right now. And I'm telling you something. There's some emergency that is coming in that is going to separate you too. Pile three. So if you are already separated right now, this is a much needed separation. This could almost be divine intervention. Either one or both of you have some things to work on or need to heal before you can come back together. If you guys come back together, otherwise it could be some toxic stuff going on and spirit needed to separate it. They are well aware that they have things. Again, they said they're preoccupied. They're well aware they have some things that they need to handle that are very serious with that emergency digging themselves in the hole. So they cannot be with you right now. They have to be preoccupied. I'm sorry for that is what I heard. You haven't figured out I'm the one yet. So they're saying, I don't even think that that's them. I think that's you. I think your energy is you haven't figured out I'm the one yet. I think they are, I don't even know if they've woken up to that. They feel some type of pull with you with this synergy, but I don't think they've woken up yet to that. I just know that they know they don't want you not in their life. I know that they want you in their life at some capacity. They really want you to be a friend to them right now. I don't really think that this person is in the energy of entertaining anything romantic. They really want you to be a friend to them right now. I apologize for being in and out of your life. And I think I said that. I think I said that. And that is green. That's coming from that heart space. They do apologize for being in and out of your life. And that's the sincere soul. I remember I said if, I, if a sincere soul came out, I'll let you know. That's the sincere soul. I was too concerned about my image. Now, I think I said that with that pentacle and the fact that that flipped over, this is something that they didn't want you to know. This is something they may be a little self-conscious about, insecure, or feel a little shame about, is that they really do care about how they look to the outside world. I admit I can be headstrong. Look at that there. So this person is, is being vulnerable right now. This person is letting you know that five of wands and that five of swords could have come from. They were too concerned about their image. That, you know, they're headstrong and they don't always listen. That could also be what that emergency is, you know, digging them in a hole, causing someone to have to walk away. Final thought. You taught me something new. 
how to love absolutely and that is why they are grateful for you and that is why they don't want to lose you as well pile three so let's go ahead and get one more message from your person one final message of how they want to close this out about their mood towards you and i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here just know pile three that right now their energy is preoccupied with something very serious this is not something lightweight this is something very serious so if you are in communication with this person if you are off and on with this person or you are talking to this person at any time don't pressure them too much if you are looking for a commitment or a relationship or whatever it is that you want because they cannot give it to you right now they really want a friend they really want somebody just to be there for them without any strings attached without wanting anything in return and that just brought me back to this hangman and this ace of wands and i'm getting pile three that if you are there for this person and whatever it is that they are going through right now and you are truly a friend to them when they are able they will re repay you they will then spark up this passion for you again because this person has feelings for you i don't know how deep it's gone yet but this person does have feelings for you. And the fact that they said that they would be lost without you, I feel like they have very deep feelings for you, just maybe repressing it right now with those four pentacles. May not be able to focus on that right now because they have other things. I do feel like this person will reciprocate the love and friendship that you give them, even if it's not done at the exact time that you give it to them. Okay, so let's get one more. But they do enjoy the chemistry that you guys share and they do feel you guys are in sync and they think very highly of you and they don't want any distance between you two regardless if this person has to leave or you have to leave. They want you guys to communicate and figure out a way. That's why they say answer my text. Figure out a way. Do I need to come to you? Do you need to come to me? What is it that we need to do to make sure that our lines of communication don't stop because I got to leave is what I heard. Okay, come on through. Whoever that resonate with. All right, let me close my eyes. All right, we have say less, do more. Now, I'm getting with that. That <laughs> I think I can know who that is, but that's the hustle of the street cat of the play. Okay, say less, do more. I'm getting with that is you could be in the energy of just say less, just just show me with your actions. But I'm really getting is that that's what this person wants from you right now. They don't want you to give them any lip service. They don't. I think they've had that enough from people. They don't want you to really say anything. I told you, I get a person who just really wants to be in somebody's presence and not really speak. They want your actions to show them how you feel about them, how you will hold them down is what I heard, how you will be there for me even if I got to tell you something you don't like is what I just heard. Just be there for me is what I just heard. Somebody going through some stuff. Okay, they are going, because I hear somebody pleading, they are going through some stuff. So if that resonates with you, Pile 3, be there for that person, even if it's not romantic. Again, this could be whoever you're thinking of. Just be there for that person. I'm told to get one more. You carry the energy of a divine God. God is look at that there. They need to be in your energy because you heal them. Pile three, and that's what it is. You heal them. You help them see a higher perspective, okay? You make them be grateful for things that they may not feel they can be grateful for right now all right you heal the pain in their heart so pile three i hope you enjoyed the reading i hope it gave you some clarity on your person's mood towards you and the connection if it did and it resonated leave me a comment if you enjoyed kicking it with your girl hit that thumbs up it is free go ahead and subscribe join the love and all that goodish gang i would love to have you help grow the channel if you are drawn to another pile, even though this is number three, go ahead over there and I will see you there. And if you did not know Pile 3, I am a spiritual teacher. I have another channel. It's called Empress Goddess of Healing LLC. Spirit gave me that name. And I teach spiritual concepts. I teach you how to speak in universal languages. So if you want to know about chakras, herbs, your past life, dreams what things you can do to heal yourself advice from your higher self how to move with work with money just how to move in your life period who is spirit which is god the holy spirit just if you want to know anything uh, hermetic principles universal laws y'all can go out there if you want to know anything about the spiritual realm okay 
holla at your girl click the link below all right because just like i tap into your person i tap into the angels everybody over there i will also leave your song in the description box so make sure you listen to don't be afraid by faith and also what i just got with don't be afraid they're saying don't be afraid of whatever emergency or whatever holy them does themselves into right now because i do feel that even though they are preoccupied now they're going to stop being preoccupied on that and start bringing their attention back to you all right all right pal three thanks for hanging out with your girl enjoy the rest of your day peace love and light